Kev, man, what you giving up for Lent, man? I'm giving up um, chocolate, man. That's one of the toughest things I can do right now. He already is. This is, uh, I mean, that's chocolate <laughs> enough as it is. But I gotta give it up, man. It's I mean, I was a little kid, we, we would give up nothing, almost. Like, I would give up pop and never drink pop at all. I would always drink, like, Sunny D or something, so it was never a sacrifice. I gave up red meat, and my mother cooked red meat probably once every 40 days, so it was never a sacrifice. I would give up, like, black and white movies or shooting firecrackers. It's just stuff like you never did, stuff that, that never got in the way of my life at all. I would give that up though. I would give up playing soccer. You know, <laughs> like, like, for real. Um, it wasn't until I really got serious in my relationship with Christ and really, really got serious about finding myself as a person and understanding the whole nature of God's involvement with us that I understood that, it, yeah, it's all about love, but that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and so that whole thing is sacrifice and so in terms of getting closer and understanding God and understanding your relationship it's all about sacrifice that's what this period is about well you're supposed to give us something that makes you really really feel good and comfortable and something you do every day and something that is really a part of your life that you can just let go of so I'm giving up peanut M&M's. Man, folks who know me know I eat three, four packs of those a day. I'm in class chewing on those. People hear me coming, hear my yellow bag rustling. So I'm giving up peanut M&M's. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be real tough for me. And then giving up ESPN, y'all. Giving up ESPN. ESPN. Giving up ESPN, y'all. 40 days and 40 nights. No ESPN. No games. No radio. No ESPN.com, nothing to do with ESPN, no sports for 40 days or 40 nights. That for me is like, um, put it like this, when I'm not in the studio or when I'm not in class, I'm in front of my TV watching ESPN. That's pretty much how my life works, so that's a major part of my day. But it's something that I want to be able to show God that I can do and that I understand just a little bit of his sacrifice, giving his son and putting him on the cross for me. So I'm going to give up ESPN and peanut M&M's. I feel like I'm going crazy like already. It's been like a few hours since I've done it, but I feel like I'm seriously gonna go nuts. That's the nature of it. You give up something serious, I mean, 40 days, it ain't gonna take that long for you to start feeling it. You know, I miss ESPN already. I already want like a handful of M&M's. Like, please. But we ain't gonna do it, we're gonna be strong. We're going to be strong. What are you going to sacrifice is the real question. What are you going to give up? I'm challenging you to think about something that you love to do, something that's a part of your daily habit, something that's a part of your routine that makes you who you are, that you can give up for 40 days. What can you give up for 40 days? Think about it. Just think about it. Put it inside your head. And when you put it inside your head, I want you to ask yourself this question. Is God good enough for me to give this up for 40 days and for 40 nights? And if the answer is yes, then you here with me. Pure music, we going together. Peanut M&M's, ESPN, whatever you giving up, shout back at me. Let me know what you giving up. Let's do this. We're going to be praying for each other. We're going to need the strength. I'm going to make some more videos, let y'all know what I'm going through. Because if I give up sports, y'all know after like day eight, I'm going to be outside just making, inventing sports just so I can stay active, you know, because if I can't watch them, then I need to go be playing something. And if I ain't got no peanut M&Ms, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm going to do to make up for that. So we're going to need to be praying for each other because it's all about not just making the commitment at first, but getting to the end. We want to get to the end. We want to see you for once get to day 40 of this thing. Not just every weekend, but every day. Get to day 40. 
and test your focus. How focused are you? What is your focus level? And can you stay focused enough on Christ? Can you stay focused enough on doing good and doing right to get to where you need to go? I promise you, if you can make it for 40 days, God's going to take you to the next level. This is my challenge from Jay Quest and the Pure Music Movement. Find something you can give up. Holla at me, let me know what it is. Let's do this thing together, all right? When I was a little kid, I would watch NFL films, and like every time I would see it, it would just feel like the frozen tundra, the Oakland Raiders, and the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Super Bowl. You know, like it would just feel like it was a journey. Like it, it was these warriors out here on the field, and they was just giving it they all. And I know that we're giving up uh, ESPN and Peanut M&Ms. Uh, I'm giving my all, so I want some of that Frozen Tundra music myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying with this Under Armour. <laughs> we must go take this house! Yeah. Every day, man. For real.